Hey everybody, it's Savage Wrinkles. I'm back with more control. Um, so I need to go to the energy converters. It says it's this way. Probably gonna have to fight some more baddie baddies as we're going. Um, keep our eyes peeled for Explody Boys. Somebody. maintenance. That might be where we need to go. I'm not sure. We'll try it. There's corruption in here. Thresholds. Let's learn about thresholds. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a blank frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house which acts as a blank. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes blank in those who learn it, so it is actively denied. Refer to file 505-1881 for full report. The merry-go-round horse. Objects should be kept in a confined space when unbound. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride, the pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when blank hits path. The object is currently bound by blank. Me now. <laughs> I have it now. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local blank, I'm going to guess that word is authorities, reported that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the Bureau, see America Overnight episode 235, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local blank were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent blank by blank. Agents invoked formula C.5 to blank the object long enough to blank. Good. I'm guessing this is a threshold right now. Black rock processing. Sector elevator. It's not gonna work right now. Because of course it wouldn't. Let me look at the map. Where am I? I'm here. It's not where I'm supposed to be. I need to go back. And then to this way. Yes, okay. 
like energy converters. Something really interesting going on in there, though. Very interesting. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old big pants inside the plant has a surfeit. these guys better when we took all the evil smoke out of them with our gun. That is the way. There's something I want to open first. It's that. What do I get in there? What do I do? Oh, I can just hop over? Well. <laughs> That's easier than I thought. Okay, can we hop back over? Nice. We're a regular fence jumper right now. Hmm. Upcoming game reminder. This is gonna be like miscellaneous or whatever. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me $20. 
Arish or what is his name? Arish? A Arish? Still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson, uh, suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Hep's Hepstenstall's turn. Remus. I brought beers last time. Okay, I'm sure I have to fight more baddies. Oh, look. <laughs> Take a minute to check for any documents or anything. So I came in from here. Let's do a quick This is what around. we came here to do. Anything? Maybe there's something. Who can say? Stick it in there. Weird. My gun is a key. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Unless you, reviewed by Captain Lopez, these days most young adult novel novels intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance. Unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called the Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in a walled cities now because of the dystopian future, and along the way, they ha just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for young adult. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown alone, surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give the book a 3 out of 5. 
I feel almost most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Sounds like a cool book. I want to read it. No spoilers, Lopez. <laughs> Had to try. All right, we got to the elevator. Take me to the executive sector. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. Something? A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. For 17 years? What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there.
Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. All right, we did it. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege, to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. Am I way, confident in that? I don't know. The director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. I so love our conversations, director. Hope has asked us to document the his incantation. I've got more points. Okay. Health, more health for sure. I've got five points left. More energy. Oh, hold on. You mean like... Oh, is it? Damn. In okay. person? Oh. Yes. I've got a new weapon. I can do this. Ooh. Okay. In person, with a pencil and paper. Oh, I have to accept these. Can I accept more than one? I can accept three. I think she's trying to get us killed. So, I can do a level 2. So what do I have right now? Damage boost. Headshot boost. Ammo refund accuracy boost. Let's go, this is 5%. 6%. Let's go accuracy. And I think damage. Then you will get... Projectile spread, recoil, accuracy, headshot. Let's go with spread down. My personal mod, this is 26% health recovery.
Oh, I'm running out of time. Go to the energy converters. So it signifies their level, the number above their head. Higher level enemies are a higher threat. Good to know. Is there a research department? Yes. Let's go. I tried the challenge. Tried it. Did not succeed. That's okay. We gave it a shot. Sometimes in life, that's all you can do. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Research sector, huh? home of the Bureau's mad scientists. If we can call them that. A plant complaint. Oops, hold on. Plant complaint? Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a, a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit? I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. Now, where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted, and people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. Oh, it's possible. I believe now that anything is possible. Ah, oh, I just died. Oh, I didn't die. But I should have died. That was painful. I dodged over the edge of a cliff. Where? I see you, but where are the other ones? I need to oh! Oof. Damn. Damn, dude.
someone's got like a sniper. Looking up for bad guys. Keeping my eyes open. Okay. sure what to do about these like sniper boys. Darling's office, dimensional research. There's something going on right in there. Doesn't look good. I do. Oh, it's her card. Let's give her a card. Let's run this. Emily has the She's in trouble. I need to reach her. I'm gonna try. Let's see.
the astral exhibition. Ooh, it's a video. Claim this. The astral plane. It's similar to an ice plane. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Hmm. That video didn't make any sense to me. Okay, sir. Ooh, black pyramid things. Okay, let's go ahead and read some of these. Assets, materials. I don't know what this means. Okay, research and records. His sniper. I seen you. Uh, Bureau snipers specialize in eliminating threats from a distance using the telltale searchlights affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from their target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and his snipers are well aware of how to use it. Refer to file blank for the full report. Astral Exhibition The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astral knots to use as a training location, a pair a, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Blank was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Blank, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the Blank behavior in the environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to file 319 3811 for full report. Addendum! New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity known as the Al Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Emergency Call Supplement Details Transcript of a Call to the California State Emergency Services Dispatcher 911, what is your emergency? Hello? Hello? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, uh... Inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. And can you describe your surroundings? Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Oh, that's sad. I think they died. There's a movie there. Introduction to paranautical An topics. The hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. 
Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. I hate that. I hate that. Thanks for making that a thing. I hate that a lot. Alright, let's go up the stairs. I can't believe they keep that thing here. There's alarms. I have to kill it. I don't know how to kill it, but I have to kill it. It's coming. It's coming for me. Say no. Oh god. Oh god. Everything is locked. We can open the big door. But for some reason I can't open the small door. Am I supposed to close you inside of here? Does that make any sense? How would I it from that side. I think I'm supposed to contain this thing. That's what I think is supposed to happen. Okay, big boy. Come with me. Are we fully contained now? Bureau oh yeah, I did it. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. His clusters heal other enemies, destroy them to make them fight for us.
Precognitive powers. Nadine sent this to research for analysis regarding my precognitive powers. Urgent, Dr. Darling. Last night I had a dream. In the dream I was given the solution to a staffing problem I had been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here, but I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and as such offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good. Signed, Mr. Francis Bertram. The Hiss Cluster. Hiss clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of Hiss resonance without the need for a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his host with the infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the his makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts, underlies a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Refer to file blank for a full report. Astronaut's information. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore the document and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. See case file OOP 18 for details in the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital th for the repeated transition between planes known as dives. After each dive, astral knots must undergo a blank session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experiences in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that blank blank within the astral plane very widely between astral knots. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Refer to file 
829-1838 for full report. Groupthink. The summary extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out various uh, variations of Solomon Aish's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as a subject. See experiments blank for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in blank. Rather, boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of blank and blank. Refer to 318-2849 for full report. We destroyed that brain. The brain is all gone now. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Miss Marshall. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab director. nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. Okay. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to see. Do I have fourth level clearance? Lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach.
check my personal mods. This is health recovery 26. This is health recovery recovery 30. Protective studies. Mm -hmm. 
caution, caution. I don't see anything in that room. How about here? Oh, it's a rubber duck. We can't trust Alternate rubber items, ducks. Alternate items number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. pouring acids and bases on it. No response to any value. Nothing. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. <laughs> I want to go in there. I want to mess with the ducky. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. Continue onward toward Darling's HRA lab. Up, down, left, right. I feel like I had it almost before. Okay, these need to be blank. This needs to have one. Then these can be cool. Yeah, I did it. You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? Hold on. What's it say? Our way in. Too strong. Leaks out. Changing variables. Lots and lots of permutations. Black rock prisms. Okay, hold on. Let's read about black rock prisms. Oh, his warped. The Hiss Warped wield only paranatural abilities similar to drifters. They are able to telekinetically shield themselves with nearby material and launch objects at their target. These entities are particularly destructive and difficult to kill, possibly indicating a greater internal reinforcement of Hiss resonance. Why do certain Hiss display paranatural abilities while others rely on Bureau firearms? Do certain corrupted entities have less potential than the hosts that become Hiss Warped? Or is this perhaps an indication of evolution or maturation of the Hiss corruption? Are there other stages of evolution yet to be found? What if the Hiss inhabits a host for a month? A year? Do hosts expire after a certain amount of time? Does the corruption become too strong for an organic body to endure? 
Only time and well-documented observation will tell. Refer to file blank for full report. Black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique blank structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range of blank to blank hertz with perfect blank harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a blank through a harmonized prism onto a blank. Methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto blank, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized residence. Blank in the prism will be explored and explained. Refer to blank for full report. Okay. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Hmm. So there's these cards all around we're picking up. Oh, okay. Mm. Hang on. I need all my shapes. Okay. So this over here. So, we need to find all the punch cards. Our way in. So, not that. Looks like those two. Center or just off center? Are there any more out here? No? Ooh, this one says... Too powerful for us. Dimensions, feedback loop. So we've got one square on the left, squares in the middle, and all squares on the left filled in. That's what it looks like to me. This is two. Is there a first one? One. Okay. Have you checked the upper floor? No. I've been busy. Hold on. Check the upper floor. This one is like the umbrella symbol in the middle, and then the right quadrant filled in, and a square shaded in only on the right side. Each of the punch card quadrant. should correspond to a terminal. So then, number is number one good? It's green. I don't know. Then number two should be a full square. Let's see, are you number two? Let's go with full square. Okay. Then three. These whiteboard drawings may be important. I think they are. Three. You're five, right? So where's three? One, two. Are you three? Okay. So then I'm gonna go with that one. Shade it in on the right side. Which would be you. Okay. 
Then four is all shaded. It looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. Four. Is four upstairs? We'll see what happens. What are the symbols mean? Let's try it. No. Okay. Then changing very that one's too strong. Oh, this is the order. One, two, three, four, five. So two and three. Or three and two. Okay, so two is... No, hold on. Three is the square. What do these whiteboards mean? Three, three, three. And then two is the full square. Are you two? So that's correct. Then I need to go find what three is. Okay, so one is umbrella with all shaded on the right. You. Okay. And then four is all shaded on the left. Which I think try different combinations. Okay. One of them has to work. Let's try this. No. Okay. So this one says one is that. Four is the block on the right. So you're not that. Four is block on the right, all on the top. So I think we need to switch these. Let's see if I got it. We did it. The prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the black rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. <laughs> and keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. 
It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, mm. invasive like resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. This will lead back to central research. Are you allowing the elevator to work now? Okay. Let's follow this path. Ooh, it does go through. This place is crazy. Okay, I'm at central research. I'm back where I left. Let's head back, I guess, to the maintenance place and we'll save there. Maintenance. Ooh, still Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan, once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? Thanks for watching, everybody. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. You can find me on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube as Savage Sprinkles. Have a great night, everybody. Goodbye!